Hey guys, so sorry I haven't made a video in a long time. I've been going through the whole moving process all summer, and I was back and forth at my grandma's house and stuff over the summer, so it was just really difficult. But I'm in my new room right now. I actually am back where I'm from, and I'm in my old house and everything. So this is my room. I'm in the process of redoing it. So I will do a room tour if that's what you guys wanted, because I've had some requests back at where I used to live, but I didn't want to do it because I was getting ready to move. So. If you guys want that, let me know in the down bar, and I will do it when I am completely finished with my room. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to do a really um, quick video about school supplies. Since school is in the starting area, I actually started last week. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to get through this and do it pretty quick if I am able to. So first things first is I think... It depends. Each school has different requirements and teachers and their syllabus usually tell you what you need for their class. I have um, seven periods, but only six of them are an actual class for me because I have one period for lunch, obviously. So four of my classes out of the six require binders. Um, if you have a locker, that's way easier. Um, this is going to be my first year ever using a locker, and I'm not sure, you know, I'm not... I don't, don't ask me anything about how to use lockers and stuff and like when, what you should keep in them because I really don't know. Um, I haven't even gotten mine yet. So, um, I need four. Um, I just get one inches because they're smallest besides a half inch because those always run out of space. So, I just went with the one inch, um, what are these, the economy basic, I don't know, the normal ones that they have. Everywhere I've been going, they've been sold out, and I finally found, not even in the school supply section, it's in, like, the office section. They had a whole bunch of binders, and, like, no one goes there. Everyone just looked in the school supply section. That's probably why. So I got four of them. Um, I really recommend these type of binders, the ones that do have a sleeve on the front. Um, obviously three-ringed, and that have pockets on this side, if you can see that. They're just really good and they're, they last me all year pretty much so I need four of those so I really recommend those and I also had to get for extra credit in my Algebra 2 class you needed to bring two of the things off my teacher's wish list and I had these left over from last year they're never open it's just the top is ripped so I got Expo markers and regular markers so I think that you should always have markers or something like that in your locker or carry them with you because you never know when you're going to need them and it kind of sucks sharing like used markers that are usually like really dirty with like every single student in that, that teacher has. So really good thing to have um, along with colored pencils. I needed some of those. Um, if you're like a mechanical per um, pencil type of person, Oh, I forgot my pencil so well. I use mechanical pencils. Um, make sure you have lead because it really sucks when you run out. I just get this kind. Um, 0 0.7, 0 0.5, whichever one you need. Um, if you are in an algebra class, I myself am in algebra 2 or any type, a lot of times they will either require or anything just graph paper. I personally like using graph paper. I think it's easier to do my work on, but in algebra 2, my teacher is requiring us to have some. So definitely I'd say get some graphing paper. I already opened mine, but graphing paper if you think you'll need it or you might like using it. Um, another thing for your binders is tabs. Um, there's these Hold on, I forgot the tab. Alright, I'm not going to edit that out. Oh, I don't really care. I don't feel like editing right now. But there's two different kinds of tabs you can get. There's these kinds that are, they're usually like yellow or whatever, and then they have the tabs, they usually have five to eight on them. You can get these. These work pretty good. I just find that they're not as sturdy. Another kind that I do like is, are these. They don't have tabs on them, though. Um, some of them do, but the one that I bought didn't. They are like this, and it has like it's like a folder and a divider at the same time. So I really like these, but these are more expensive. But either one works. They're really important for school, and a lot of times teachers require them. 
if they require you to have a binder, they're going to require you to have tabs pretty much. So, really recommend those, and I needed some of those, so I got that loose leaf paper. Um, I don't know, some teachers require you to have college ruled, some don't care, but I personally like college ruled better because you can fit more on a page. Um, they have these everywhere, it's usually maybe like a dollar or if that for a pack. So just stock up on those because I use probably two packs, two packs, like I'll use a lot of loose leaf paper a year. So those are pretty much a necessity. Um, for my biology class, if you know I'm going to be a soft, I am a sophomore now, um, for my biology class we're required to have a three subject notebook, three or five, but I found a three. And this is from Target, and it's just like black. And oh, oh, and this, and these ones I like better than the regular ones because this has like the plastic divider that does have a pocket on it, but it also has like another like one of the these type of folders. And on um these type of dividers that I was telling you about, this is what it has pretty much. It's like a slant on here, and it holds your papers like that. So these are really good, and they're really sturdy. They're like, I don't know, not as big as a five subject. And I needed a regular spiral notebook, and I am in love with this print. Um, it is a theme in my room. I'm going to give you a little hint, but it's a little bit different. So I just got this um, one subject notebook. They're really cute. Um... So I, I like getting cute stuff. Some people like to color coat their things. Usually I do that, but this time I just said, you know, whatever. I just got cute patterns, so this is really cute. For folders, I like to have a couple folders in each of my binders. Um, I got three sets. I mean, whenever I find folders, they're always like little kiddish. And, you know, I'm just, I don't want like the little kid with like hearts and pieces and stuff, and stuff on it. So I ended up getting a couple. This pack is gray and stripes and it says that on it. I'm not going to say it because I'm probably going to butcher it and an Eiffel Tower. That's something in like, like French I think. And it has a couple hearts on it but whatever and it looks like that. I thought it was really cute. And then there's another one because it's a um, two pack. And this one is just cool like glitter stripes. So that works. Um, I only got good this one because of the second one. So this one is just a cupcake. You know, it's cute. In the back, I liked it, and it says, keep calm and eat a cupcake, and I really like the keep calm stuff, so that's the reason why I got it. Um, I got this one. I didn't mean to buy this one. Oops, I'll figure out how to use it. It has, like, it's purple. as like, a tree and peace signs and stuff, and the back has, like, peace signs and stuff. I'm not really into that, but whatever. And I really thought this one is cute. It's purple, and it says, hot chick all over, and has a fire and, like, a chick. I thought that was really cute. Um... I like the ones that come with holes in it so that you can stick it in your binder. So I really suggest those type. My school gives gives out a binder. I'm not going to show uh, show you it. I mean, not a binder, a planner. But the school planners usually suck and they look like um, this on the inside. And you like cannot write anything on that, like one line per period. So I just really don't like that. So I usually get myself one. I thought this one was really cute. It comes with an actual calendar, but that's not the reason why I got it. I got it because I thought the planner was really cute. It looks like that print on it, and it's pink, and it has, like, actual daily stuff where you can write your work, and then it has, um, like, a month view. And I like it because it has tabs on the side for each month so it's easier to navigate through. So this is not required. Some schools don't give out ones, but mine does. Usually I think schools do give out a planner, but I like having the cuter ones. So I got that. For more like more like supply type stuff goes, um, my teacher, my algebra, my um, biology teacher wants us to have, we're going to be using two glue sticks a month because in our three subject notebook, um, we're going to be gluing paper in here. So, like, two a month, that's ridiculous. We're going to be going through, like, a thousand, like, 
a school year, so <laughs> I kind of went around that. I don't know if she's going to allow her, but I really don't care. For 99, $0.97 cents at um, Walmart, I got a mini stapler, and for $0.88, cents, I got, like, mini staples, and so I can, like, staple the corners into my book instead of going through, like, a thousand um, glue sticks. So if you're willing to carry that around or whatever, then go ahead. I think that's a better idea. Um, I needed scissors, and I don't like the little kid ones that are super small and don't really like that. So I got these ones. They're like stupid. They're just plain purple. I mean, they had a really cute like cheetah one, but they were like super huge, and I don't want to carry that around. So I just got like the medium size ones. And I did get a few glue sticks, just in case, you know. But whatever you you could always use glue sticks, not just to be gluing stuff in my thing every single day. I just don't want to do that. And I got a pencil case. Really cute. I think it's important. So you can put all your highlighters and stuff. Oh, I can't open it. Oh. So you can put like your highlighters and all your stuff in here without having them all over your bag. So I think that's really cute. And I got that. And then if you want a USB, you can buy a USB. I personally had one already, so I didn't need to buy one. So let me show you my bag. I just use a black jeans court bag um, with like a small front pocket and a big inside pocket. And what's in here already, I just have a five subject because I was going to use this because I didn't have a three subject. Um, so I couldn't find any. So I was just using like the big five subjects. And these are so big and so heavy compared to this one. All I had was black. See how small this one is compared to this one? So obviously I'm going to go with this one. So, you know, those work too if you need that. And I already have like, oh, a graphing calculator, I forgot. If you're in like higher math classes, um, we had to use that kind of, we had to use it a little bit in algebra, and we didn't really need it in algebra, I mean geometry, but in algebra 2, we need a graphing calculator. I'm getting the TI-84. Those are like $120. Um, it's kind of ridiculous, but um, we're not required to have it, but it's really recommended. On Amazon, I think it was for only like 80 or something. So if you need one, I would suggest looking on Amazon or something because my dad said he found one for cheaper on there. So he's going to get that. But right now, I'm just using the Casio ones. Um, it's like half the price, but I mean, it works really good, but it doesn't do as much as the other one does. So, you know, whatever works. Um, and then I just have all my pens and stuff in here because. I had it in here from before I got my pencil case, so I just keep hand sanitizer right now. I just have the spray one. I definitely keep hand sanitizer in your bag and gum. Um, some schools don't allow it, but I don't really care. I use it anyways. And like pencils and pens and highlighters. I like colored pens personally. Um, it helps me with like my notes and stuff. So I have colored pens and just regular pens and pencils and highlighters. So that's definitely a must. Um, so that's pretty much it, I think. Oh, I got a really cool Sharpie. These are like the Stained by Sharpie. I don't know what the difference is. Um, I just got a hot pink one. I don't know. So that's pretty much my school supply video. Um, um, I hope this was helpful to you guys. Oh my god, that looks awful. Um, I hope this was helpful to you guys. And maybe it gives you some ideas um, for what you can do for your school supplies when you need... Um, Definitely, I think color coding is a good idea, but I part of the reason why I didn't end up doing it is because right now, especially where I live, we're having like severe weather um, going on. So everyone's going to like Walmart and Target to like get stock up in like bottled water and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so it, it's like crazy packed, and all the school supplies is like out because my area has been. We've already started school, so like all the school supplies are like gone. So that's part of why I didn't color code because I wasn't I didn't really have enough to choose from. I didn't have a good variety. So that's why. But yeah, I hope this video was helpful to you guys and I hope you like it. So thanks for watching and have a great day guys. Bye!